Hey, so I just watched Kajillionaire, and if you know me, I like weird movies. So if a movie is going to divide audiences, but critics like it, and the reason why I divide audiences is because it's too weird for half of the audience to handle, you can bet that I'm going to be in the half of the audience that cheers it on. <laughs> so yes, that being said, I really, really, really like Kajillionaire. Uh, it was extremely oddball, uh, and just the dynamic of having this family of just complete weirdos being paired up with, like, a very polar opposite person without going into plot details uh, is just a hilarious dynamic to me because it's such a clear case of one of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. <laughs> and they play that up very well. So, as I said before, the movie's very creative in its weirdness. Uh, and the movie's very funny. But something that I did not expect without going into spoilers is that the movie's also much darker than I expected. Like, it has some surprisingly weighty drama behind it. I won't go into plot details on how exactly that works in the movie. But, like, it got kind of depressing at some points. Like, very solemn, for sure. Uh, which I think only adds to the experience. Like, I could see, like, it kind of turning some people off the fact that it kind of escapes the lighthearted, goofy tone of the WTF, like, first act when it kind of goes down a darker route. But I thought it kind of only made it more interesting. Uh, this is definitely, like, for the A24 focus features crowd, like, that sort of indie movie. So, like, if you're into, like, all those, or if you've tried Miranda July's previous stuff, like me, you, and everyone we know, then I definitely recommend this. But yeah, like I said, 8.5. Definitely recommend it. It's great.